is Rachel. And I'm Amber. And today, we are learning about discovering new things. And I have discovered some things about my friend Amber. Oh. And I know you love hiking. Mm -hmm. I know you love dogs. Mm -hmm. I know you play guitar. Mm -hmm. And you've been on all sorts of adventures. Like that one time, you went skydiving with the queen. Yep, yep, it's pretty accurate. And yeah, since we're friends and we spend time with each other, we learn things about each other and discover about each other. And did you know it's the same with God? So the more time that we, the more we spend time with him, we learn about him and we learn about his character. And that's what we're learning about today. All right, you know what's fun? What? Discovering new things. Oh, dude, and you know what's even more fun? What? Discovering new things and getting messy. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna do next. We've oh, got yeah. a messy game plan. Oh yeah. So get ready. That's why we've got updos, because it's <laughs> gonna get intense. So for this game, we've got these two plates here that have a secret message written on this side. So Amber and I are each gonna take a plate we're gonna put some kind of messy ingredients on top of that plate to cover the message. Then we'll give the plate to each other and we'll have to lick off the ingredients to reveal the message. Oh well, oh That's well. That's the game. Here we go. So your mission at home, wherever you are, you need to choose who you think is gonna win this game. So, who's gonna lick all the ingredients off the fastest? If you think it's gonna be Amber, clap your hands. And you think it's gonna be me? Stop your feet! Okay, so make your choices. We're gonna prepare these plates. Okay. I'll do mine first. You go first. Okay. You go sing a song in the okay. corner. So okay, I'm not listening. I'll do a countdown from okay. three, two, one. Okay. And then we'll reveal. We'll and we need off. you guys to cheer for us. We need to hear your cheering. We need to hear them. Hear All the right. clapping, hear the stomping. Okay. And are you ready? Maybe. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's not mayonnaise colored. No. I don't know. It's something you'd put on your ice cream oh. sundae, and it's not chocolate, but sometimes you might have a brown caramel. Yes, caramel sauce, oh. and it's something a little spicy. Yeah, there's something a little nippy in there. It's Nando's Piri Piri salt. <laughs> oh, whoa! Alrighty, right. Um, and I had some <laughs> lovely. I think I had what we call it spaghettios, or just like. <laughs> What do you call these? Yeah, yeah, it's just spaghetti. Spaghetti. Some spaghetti. Spaghetti, whipped cream, sprinkles, and I mean, these are actually my favorite. They're Swedish fish. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, so that's our, our messy game. 
So, getting messy is fun. But you know what's also fun? Watch So, the winning message was, I am loved. Yes, and isn't that a wonderful message? And you can, you can almost use your hands to say love as well. Like, do you see the heart? You see the heart? Oh, dude, oh, oh, check this out, too. Or you can do it like this way. Oh, how do you do it? Or what, in Korean, I used to say, I love you. <laughs> or sign language, I love you. There's so many ways. I got it, I got it, it. look. It's totally a heart, it's totally a heart. That is a heart. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, in our next video, we're going to find out how God loves us in so many big ways. The temperature is 75 degrees. The temperature is 75 degrees. The temperature Mike, is that is the 10th time you've checked degrees. the temperature in the past two minutes. I know, I'm sorry, I just, my sister's coming to visit and she said she was bringing a surprise and to make sure it was exactly 75 degrees. Okay, but you don't have to check it so much. It won't change that fast. Yeah, you're probably right. The temperature is 76 <gasps> degrees. Oh no, I have to check the humidity. No, Mike, that's not the...
Oh, I don't know about the humidity, but the funk factor is off the charts. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is the time our understanding of God's love blossomed. Waiting for me. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited you're here! I know, I'm excited I'm here too. Did you remember that I was bringing a surprise? Yes, let me guess. It's a puppy. I bet it's a puppy. No, it's a painting. <gasps> a painting of a puppy. I bet it's a No, I bet it's a big piece of chocolate shaped like the Eiffel Tower, because I would never think of that. No, not quite. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's an orchid! It's so pretty. Thank you. I was growing it for my botany class. I've named her Carol. We should show Harper. It's so beautiful, Megan. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, Carol and I do all kinds of things together. We listen to music, we watch baking shows. Her favorite is the ultimate cupcake challenge. <laughs> yeah, I take Carol pretty much everywhere I go, but I have to be really careful because this type of orchid is really rare and expensive. Maybe Carol can help us. I got a message from the field office in Chicago before you guys came in. Oh, well, what did it say? I took some notes. We'd be happy to help. Great, okay, let me see. He said his name was Carson, and for the third time this month, he left his lunchbox in the car when his mom dropped him off at school. Every time he forgets, his mom has to come back up to the school, and then someone has to walk to lunch to his class. He's worried that his mom seems really mad at him whenever he forgets. He said he doesn't mean to forget, but that he keeps messing up. He's wondering if anyone is still going to keep loving him if he keeps messing up, and that maybe he's just too hard to love. Oh, poor Carson. He's still lovable. Harper, would you like to work on the verse link? Sounds great. And Megan, would you like to help me with the Bible link? Of course. And Harper, if you'd like, you can take Carol to help you. I would love that. I'll take great care of her. Okay, wow. There are a lot of Bible verses about God's love. Maybe I can check the Skit Vision archives for verse videos about God's love for us. Oh, here's one. There you are, Winston. I finally remembered to bring back your sunscreen. Ha, huh. great, thanks. Your trip to the beach is tomorrow, right? Nope, it was yesterday. Ooh. Guess I got my days mixed up. Hey, you look sunburned. Yeah, a little. Oh, well, thanks to your sunscreen, I didn't get burned when I went to the beach last week. Why did you loan it to me so close to your trip? Well, you're, you're my friend and I didn't want you to get hurt. Aw, Winston, that is so sweet of you. You know what? It also reminds me of a verse. From the Book of Romans, chapter five, verse eight. It goes like this, repeat after me. Romans 5, 8. Romans 5, 8. But here is how God has shown his love for us. But here's how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners. While we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Christ died for us. <sighs> God loves us so much that even though we didn't deserve it, even before we could say sorry for the wrong things that we've done, he sent Christ to take our punishment. That is a lot of love. Thanks again, Winston. Quite the guy. <laughs> wow, God loves us so much, even when we mess up. Romans 5, 8. But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The verse link is... Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Megan is gonna be so mad! She won't wanna be friends with me anymore! Or talk to me! Neither will Mike! Or anyone! Oh no, 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 oh no. I really miss Carol. She would really like this view. I'll have to take her up here later. Any luck yet? Well, I found this Bible link in the book of John. 
Let's see what it could teach us about God's love. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let him blow up all the cages, let this show go live Let his word explode from this video into your life Long ago, there lived a man named John. He was known as the disciple who Jesus loved. One day, Jesus invited John to follow him and be his disciple. John left his boat and nets behind to follow Jesus. Jesus talked to John and taught him many things. Jesus invited John to go many places with him. Jesus loved John very much. When things seemed scary or sad, Jesus reminded John that everything would be okay. When things were hard, Jesus was happy John was near. As he was dying on the cross, Jesus looked down at John, standing beside Mary, his mother. Jesus trusted John so much, he invited John to be in his family and take care of Mary, his mother. And, and John, John did. did. John was honored to be invited into Jesus' family and take care of his mother. John remembered the time he spent with Jesus. As Jesus was dying on the cross, John stayed close to Jesus. He stayed by Mary so he could comfort and help her. John stayed by Jesus even when things became very hard. John was sad when the soldiers came to take Jesus away. John loved Jesus very much. John had followed Jesus and helped him serve people. John always listened very closely to everything Jesus said. John was so glad that he had said yes when Jesus invited him to be his disciple. Long ago there lived a man named John. He was known as the disciple who Jesus loved. Jesus loved John by inviting him to be his disciple and follow him. When Jesus was dying on the cross, Jesus called John into his family. No wonder why John called himself the one Jesus loved. And Jesus loves us too. He invites us to be disciples and follow him, and that's how we get into his family. So we can call ourselves the one Jesus loved too. Oh, I better get back to Carol. It's time for her afternoon watering. Harper, we found a perfect- <gasps> What's wrong? We've been robbed. Oh no, they took Carol and Harper. Now don't panic first 24 hours after a crime are crucial. You don't want to compromise into the evidence. Harper, you've really done it this time. There's no way you're going to be able to fix this. Oh no, now I've broken it. I should just leave. They're not going to want me around anymore when they've figured out what I've done. Now that we've taped off everything, we must examine the crime scene with all five of our senses. What do you see? That Harper and Carol are missing. Right. Obvious signs of struggle. What do you smell? I smell dirt and Mike! <laughs> oh. Sorry. Right. You smell dirt and sorry. That's a clue. What do you hear? Um, nothing. That's a clue. Now, what do you feel? Sad and, and scared. But what do you feel with your fingers? They feel sad and scared too. Right. That's a clue. Now, what do you taste? Um, <laughs> gummy bears. <laughs> That's a clue. How is that a clue? We both like gummy bears. Man, I'm stumped. Look, there's a trail of dirt leading back out the door. Maybe we should follow it? Ah, yes. Elementary, my dear Megan. That is a clue. We should totally follow it. Da-da, 
Megan, come in. Over. Megan here. The lounge appears to be deserted. Over. Any signs of activity? Over. Affirmative. It appears that we're looking for someone who enjoys drinking dirt. Over. Roger that. Who's Roger? Nobody. It's just... It's code. Code for what? It's like saying I got it. Then why don't you just say got it then? Because it's code! <sighs> Wait, look! It looks like the trail is back out again. Wait! It's a trap! What should we do? Mm. Proceed with abundant caution. Hmm. Roger that. <laughs> Harper! Carol, you're not stolen! Unless they stole themselves. We saw such a mess in the hub. We were so worried. I'm so, so sorry, Megan. I knocked Carol off the desk when I was trying to practice the verse link. And then I tried to fix it, and it broke even more. I understand if you don't want to be my friend anymore, or ever talk to me again. Oh, Harper, of course I'm still going to be your friend. Even though I messed up really, really bad? Yes. I don't know. I just feel really hard to love right now. Harper, you're not unlovable because you're never unloved. What do you mean? God loves you. Even when you mess up? Yes, even when you mess up big time. <laughs> I should know, so take it from me. I am loved because God loves me. I am loved because God loves me. I think that that's a great point for Carson. The point link is, I am loved because God loves me. Point link acquired. And there's still time to save Carol. Perfect. See, you thought you'd broken Carol, but the really cool things about orchids is that one orchid can be made into two orchids. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and it looks great. Harper, you're a natural with plants. You should have one for yourself. Here. Thank you, I love it. <laughs> now I just have to come up with a name. Oh, I love naming names. That's my favorite part. All right, uh, Bubblegum, Mr. Whiskers, Rambo, Rambo 2. Hi Carson, I'm Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Romans. You ready? Ready. Oh, okay. Romans 5, 8. But, but here's how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus shows his love for us just like he loved John. He invites us to be his disciples, to follow him, and to be a part of his family. I thought I was unlovable because of my mistakes with the orchid. Before you know God, you might believe lies that tell you that you are unlovable or unwanted. You may even think you should run and try to hide from God, just like I try to hide. But Megan and Mike searched for me, like Jesus seeks us out. And Megan showed me how to fix the plant, just like God can take our brokenness and replant it into something even better. God loves us, even though we make mistakes. You never have to wonder if you are loved or lovable because God showed us how much he loves us by sending Jesus to take our punishment and dying on the cross. I am loved because God loves me. Carson, even though you messed up, you are always loved by God. No matter how many times we mess up, God will always love us. Thanks for your question. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Okay. So today we learned that to get to know God, you should get to know God, so you can learn who you are, get to know you. And don't, be, don't believe a lie like, I'm not loved, and no one loves me. Believe God's truth that God loves you and he will never stop loving you. That's a really good message, Amber. Yeah, so this week, as we go back to school, you can think about, you know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, that God loves you. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so we're gonna end with a little prayer time and then say our goodbyes. Yeah. All right, so we'll just pray together now. God, we thank you for your love 
and how you love each of us in such an amazing and unique way. And pray that as we go forward, as we return to school, we can feel that love from you and we can love others as well. Amen. Amen. So, Amber, do you have any other upcoming adventures with the queen planned? Perhaps oh, bungee jumping? Dude, dude, we're going bungee jumping. Oh, right on. I'd love to see the pictures. Oh, I'll send them. But so, it's been a blast hanging with you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.